In this video, I'll show you how to calculate monthly mortgage payments at varying amortization periods. This is question number one. The question reads, Nadia has a $195,000 mortgage. She locks into a closed mortgage with 2.21% interest amortized over 25 years compounded semi-annually. Part A asks, calculate her monthly mortgage payments. To answer this question, we'll be using two formulas. We'll use the present value formula, which is shown here, and specifically, we're solving for R, which represents the regular deposits or payments. And to solve for R, we'll be using this version of the formula, where R is already isolated. So let's write down everything we know so far. We know that the present value, PV, is equal to $195,000. We're also told that she will be paying for the next 25 years. And specifically, they want us to find out her monthly mortgage payment. So the end value here will be 25 times 12. 25 being the number of years that she's going to have this mortgage, and 12 being the amount of months in a year. And this equals to 300. Now the tricky part is defining the I. I represents the interest rate per compounding period. Now the reason why I say that it's tricky is since you're making monthly payments, yet the interest is being compounded semi-annually, there's a discrepancy between when the payments are made and when the interest is compounded. As a result, we need to find the effective annual rate, which is represented as EAR, then use the EAR to find the effective monthly rate. And this will take into account the discrepancy. And when we find the EMR, which is the effective monthly rate, this will represent the interest I for this formula. Now to find the EAR and the EMR, you have to use two separate formulas, but they can be combined into a formula that looks like this, where I is equal to the interest rate per compounding period, R is equal to the rate provided, and M is the frequency of compounding. So let's figure out our I value. I is equal to bracket one plus R, which according to our question is 2.21%. Now, of course, we can't use percentage. We need to use the decimal version of this number, so we're going to take this number and divide it by 100. And this gives us 0 0.0221, representing our R. I'm gonna replace that with the R that we had here, 0 0.0221, divided by M, and M represents the frequency of compounding. Since it's semi-annually, M is 2, twice a year, to the power of M, which is once again 2, divided by 12, which represents the number of months in a year, minus 1. Using our calculator, we will end up with bracket 1 plus 0 0.0221 divided by 2, close bracket, to the power of 2 over 12, minus 1. 0 0.0018 So let's write this down above. I is equal to, now we have all the information we need to plug it into our present value formula. We're going to be using this one. So R is equal to this number times this number, all divided by bracket one minus one plus once again, that to the power of negative 300. I'm going to plug this all into my calculator, starting with the numerator, 195,000 times 0. Point, and we can use answer because that was the last entry, divided by 1 minus bracket 1 plus this number to the power of negative 300. And if you've done this successfully, you should get $845.62. So what does this mean for Nadia? Nadia has to pay $845.62 every month for the next 25 years. That answers A. Question B asks, what percent of the total is interest? Well, to find out, we're going to multiply this number by the number of payments. And we found out that it was 300. So let's multiply this by 300. 
and we end up with 253,687. 253,687. And I'm going to subtract this from 195. And if I do that, minus 195, I end up with 58,687. 58,687. So she has to pay 58,687 more dollars than how much she borrowed in order to get this mortgage. Now, how much of a percentage is that from the total paid? So what we do to find the percentage of the total paid, we take this number and we divide it by 253687. Let's do that. 58687 divided by the total paid, and we get 2313. Multiplying that by 100, that represents 23%. So of the $253,000 paid, 23% of that went to the loaner's pocket. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate monthly mortgage payments at varying amortization periods. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.